So let's write the function that is going to process our payment. Underneath uh, our app get, I'm going to say app.post and we are going to listen on uh, extension charge and the reason we're putting charge here, remember in our Xcode, in our create and confirm payment, when we are adding something to our base URL, which happens to be our local host, this is our base URL, uh, we are adding a charge at the end. So let me just go back. See, here we are appending a path and this is called charge. So whatever you have here, make sure you put it right here otherwise this uh, will not process properly and once we do that i'm going to say charge comma and we are going to give a request and receive a response back And this is whatever is here will be called every time we access our backend with a link, our base URL plus this charge. So what we want to do now is to access the body of the information, the request we are sending. Remember here that we're passing these parameters. So we want to access them in our parameters in order to process the payment. So let's write some variables. So we say var, description is equals to our request that we are sending dot body dot description and this uh, request is this part here body is the body of our request but the last thing description should be exactly the same thing as our keys are here so we have stripe token amount description and currency. So whatever the keys are here, make sure you type exactly the same thing. If it's the description one, you should type there description one. So otherwise it will not get anything there. Then we say var amount is equals and we access our request body amount and say var currency equals to request body currency and lastly say var token is equals to request dot body dot token and let's just uh, console log here and see what our parameters are so I'm going to pass my request dot body and if I save this, go to my terminal here. And before you can rerun your index.js, uh, you can say control C, not the command, control C in your terminal, which will stop your current local host that is running. And then you just say not index.js again, and this will run your application again with uh, new changes. So let's go to our simulator here. If I go to checkout, pay, and if I pass my card information, we are going to see the parameters here that we are passing. And apparently we are, didn't pass anything because this is printing out an empty dictionary here. So our request dot body is currently empty let's see what's the issue so the reason our console doesn't print the body is because we have forgotten one line to add here so we say app use and then we're going to pass our body parser here as a dot url encode that and here we're going to open parentheses curly braces and I'm going to say extended semicolon true. And if I command S here, go to my terminal and just say LS, you can see that I am still in my project folder. Say node 
index.js and again we are running on a uh, local host and now I can actually go here and to the checkout again so we can check if our parameters are passed click done now you can see that it prints my parameter and amount is 34,400 which is 400, uh, 344 USD the currency is USD description purchase from market and the token is our token that we are providing so this uh, request we are receiving and we can grab out uh, all the body parts here which we just printed and now in order to perform this charge we are going to call our stripe here uh, I'm going to copy paste this code and let's go through it together so basically what we are saying is we access our stripe then we access our charge and then we create a charge and then we set the parameters of the charge that we want to create so the source is going to be our token the amount is just the amount we are passing currency and description this is all we are passing from our body that we receive and then we just create a function with error and charge in case if there is an error we will have an error or we will have the charge and we check if there is an error we are printing the error in our console log and if there uh, in case of error we are calling our response here from our uh, function and we're passing a status of 500 which in stripe language it means something went wrong and we're just saying end here else if there is no error we are printing in console success which is our payment was processed successfully and we are accessing our response sending status of 200 which is in stripe language everything went correctly so if I command S here to save, then move to our terminal, I'm going to say, uh, first let's stop this, control C, and then we say not index.js, this will run our application again, and let's try to check out one more time here. I'm passing my card information, click done and it says payment successful our basket was emptied and let's see here again we have printed our description and also we have printed this thing that it says it was successful and inside our application here we saw that on the screen it was successful payment so let's go to our uh, safari it's here I'm going to go to my payments and we have 344 and this is 10.07 which is just now we have paid. I have a few more here, I was testing it before. So our payment went through successfully and our basket was cleaned successfully as well. So our front end is working, our back end is working, I'm going to provide you with the uh, file you just will have to put here your stripe secret otherwise it will not work so you can just copy and paste into your index.js and run this in our terminal here so you can uh, control c to stop it and i can rerun it by saying not index.js and this will start my local host again running my application on it